What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the brand new 2021 M1 iMac. So as you can tell, just straight away from the box, Apple has gone complete colorful this year. They've changed a lot about the iMac this year, starting with just the color. Even the box is completely different than we've seen in past years with the iMac. So a lot to uncover in this video. We're going to go over the setup process, the performance. We're going to talk about benchmarks and much more. So we're not going to waste any time at all. Let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of this brand new 2021 M1 iMac. So we have this easy peel tab right up top for easy opening. And by the way, the cloth handle at the top is also color coordinated to the iMac color that you get, which is pretty neat. So a lot of thought went into the box, even the packaging for these new iMacs. Let's go ahead and push this down so I can see this new iMac. And you can see we have the protective layer over the screen right here. And you can actually read through that. It says hello in the old school Apple font there, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. Man, this thing is thin. Just pulling this down, you could already feel how thin this iMac is, or you know, you could tell how thin it is. We're just gonna pull this out, and here it is right here. This is the first iMac I've ever been able to pick up with one hand and pull it out of the box. It's so much lighter and you know, skinnier, thinner than previous years, especially compared to my 27 inch 5K iMac, which I actually just recently sold. And look at that purple color at the bottom right there. That is just beautiful. I loved the purple from the instant I saw it. And that's what I decided to go with here. But we'll look more at the actual computer in a second. I wanna take a look at what else is inside of the box here. And again, Apple is really color coordinating everything with the packaging to the color of the iMac, which is cool. So you can see we have the purple keyboard and the purple cables even here on the box to give us a preview of what we're about to see. And here's what we see when we pull up the flap right here. So we have our purple keyboard, we have our cables, and we have our pamphlet right there. So let's go ahead and pull this out along with our mouse right here as well. So I have all the accessories right here in front of me and starting off with the keyboard take a look at how awesome this keyboard looks that purple color just really gives it you know some life it gives up some personality and we do also have the touch id sensor right there as well which i will show you guys more about that on the setup process we also have the purple braided cable that goes along with that so we can charge of course our keyboard right here we also have our magic mouse right here which is also purple on the bottom so the top is just the regular white and you can see down on the bottom right there we have the purple color which looks awesome and then we also have the massive power brick and the purple braided cable right here and you can see the magnetic adapter right there as well for the power so we'll talk more about that and then of course we have the other end of the power adapter as well and now let's take off the sleeve for the actual iMac itself and now let's take off the hello screen protector right here for an actual screen reveal. So there is the screen of this iMac and you can see the bezels down here just look beautiful. And we do have some protective film on the back as well. So we do have a darker shade of purple on the back right here. So let's go and take this off. And we have more protective film down here and along all of the edges as well. So a lot of protective film on this iMac, more than I remember seeing on any previous iMac, but wow. This feels and looks absolutely incredible. As expected, way better than it looked in the you know event. At the event, a lot of people thought it looked ugly, myself included, but seeing it here in person, it looks stunning. So now we're gonna hook everything up and get this guy booted on up. So again, this is new. This cable and how it all goes in is all brand new. And you can see there, it just snaps right in. So it is magnetic. Apple didn't actually call it MagSafe, but it is kind of a magnetic you know uh, connection there. And you can see it's very tough. I'm trying to pull it out and it's not budging so that is good news that of course does connect to this big power brick right here and then on this power brick is where we connect the other part of the power brick but we also have the ethernet port right there so there's no ethernet port on the back now we just have these thunderbolt ports and usb-c ports right here so four of them and man i just cannot get over how thin this iMac is, especially compared to previous models. Just the build of it feels so solid and it's so much smaller. I mean, I know it is 24 inches compared to like the 27 inch iMac, but still it's very impressive. And the front end looks really good. I thought I would not like the fact that there's no Apple logo there, but it really doesn't bother me. I think it actually looks better without it right there. So let's go ahead and boot this up and go through the setup process and do some benchmarks as well. So I decided to go with the 512 gigabyte model with the eight core CPU and eight core GPU for 1699. Now I did also get eight gigs of RAM. I would have gotten 16, but I already have the Mac mini, which is fully maxed out with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And that is my main, you know, editing computer, my main video editing computer. I don't see myself, you, you know, using this as much as that. This is gonna be more of a leisurely device, although it could be, 
you know, a good video editing machine, I decided to just keep my iMac mini for that. So again, this exact model was $16.99, but the base model of this M1 iMac, which comes with 256 gigabytes of memory and a seven core GPU, and of course, eight gigs of RAM, costs just $12.99. And of course you can spec that all the way up to two terabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM for $24.99 which fun fact is only $100 more than a two terabyte 5G iPad Pro, which is pretty crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up the mouse and the keyboard. I still don't like the fact that the mouse plugs in from this little bottom port right here. It's just really weird the way that these mice charge. You literally plug it in like that on the bottom of this Magic Mouse. So not a fan of that, and I don't think anybody is, but that's still what Apple is going with here in 2021. So we're gonna plug this in so we can go ahead and start with the setup process. All right, so we're gonna set United States as our country right here. We're not gonna do anything with the accessibility features, but you have all of those right there. We're gonna go ahead and do not now. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi now. And now we get our data and privacy screen right there. We'll just continue on this. Migration Assistant, so if you have anything from a previous Mac that you wanna transfer over to this Mac, this is where you do that. However, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up as a brand new iMac. We're gonna sign in with our Apple ID now. We're gonna enter in our passcode for the Mac right here. And now we have the screen for the iCloud keychain, which will of course store your passcodes, your credit card information and things like that. So we are going to use that. Let's go ahead and continue on that. And now we have a prompt for Find My. Let's continue on that. Express Setup, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Analytics, I am not going to share my crash and usage data with app developers. You can choose to do that if you would like. Then we have the option here for screen time, which is just like it is on the iPhone and the iPad. So we're gonna continue on that. If you wanna have Hey Siri turned on for your iMac, you can do that right here. You can enable or disable that. I'm just gonna keep mine enabled and we can go ahead. Actually, I'm just gonna set this up later just so I don't have to go through this in the setup process. Now we have improved Siri and dictation. I'm gonna do not now, but you can share your audio recordings if you would like. And now we have the option to set up our drive as being encrypted or not. So if you want the Firebolt disk encryption turned on, you can select that. I'm going to have mine on and allow my iCloud account to unlock the disk. So we're gonna continue on that. And now we have something brand new for the iMac, which is Touch ID. And you can see here it says, use your fingerprint to unlock your Mac and make purchases with Apple Pay. Start by placing your finger or thumb on Touch ID. And we're gonna do this just like we do on the iPhone. So we're gonna go ahead and tap right there. So you don't have to push in on the button. You just lightly you know, place your finger or your thumb up against the button right there. Again, just like you do on the iPhones, at least the iPhones that we had in the past. We're gonna go ahead and try to get a different angle on the fingerprint right there. There we go, Touch ID is ready. Let's see if we have to do a second scan or not like we do on the iPhone. Looks like maybe we do not, no. So only one scan is needed for your finger here on the iMac. And now we have Apple Pay, so we're gonna continue on that. And, 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 that's one, and that's one thing I'm really looking forward to is being able to use Touch ID for Apple Pay on the Mac. That's gonna make things a lot quicker. And same with passcodes and things like that. Passwords are gonna be so much easier to enter in if you only have to use your finger, your you know, Touch ID to enter in that passcode. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up now. We'll continue on this. And now we have the option to select light, dark, or auto for the mode. So I'm gonna do mine as auto so it gets dark and turns into dark mode during the nighttime and it stays in light mode during the day. Now we have True Tone Display, so you can see what it looks like with and without True Tone right there. So I always like to keep my True Tone on, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue on that. And here we go, we have just set up the brand new 2021 M1 iMac, and you can see the wallpaper is already preset to the purple, I guess it's color matching, color coordinating to whatever iMac you bought. I love that, and it just looks beautiful already. So we're gonna go ahead and download some benchmark applications and see kind of how this does when it comes to benchmarking. I'll do more like video editing tests and things like that at a later date if you guys would like. So let me know in a comment down below if you wanna see videos like that. And by the way, the first thing I always change when I get a new iMac is the speed of the mouse trackpad or the mouse tracking. It's always so slow. The tracking speed is always so slow. I don't know if it's just me and I'm really fast on the computer or not, but I always change this like first thing. And I also change my scroll direction off of natural. I don't like it when it's natural. So just a little quick thing I wanted to throw in there just for some maybe quick options that you might want to look into changing. And of course you can also change things with the keyboard and the trackpad right here as well. So we're running a disk speed test now on this new iMac. Now this thing is brand new, so there could still be some background processes happening in the background. So this may be faster over time, but right off the bat, I mean, pretty impressive scores, near 3000 on the right and near 3000 on the read as well. 
So pretty impressive scores there from this new iMac. You can see some of our numbers right here as well. And if we change the stress from five gigabytes to one gigabyte, you can see what type of speeds we're getting here. So near 4,000 on the right and near 3,000 on the read right there. It's about 34, 3,500 on the right and about 3,000 on the read for a one gigabyte stress test here on the disc. And now we're gonna run a Cinebench test here on this new iMac to see how it scores. You can see some rankings right here as well, so we can kind of see where we stand after we run this test. So we're gonna go ahead and do a multi-core CPU test right up top right here. All right, so there we go. You can see we scored a 76.95 with this eight core GPU, eight core CPU, eight gigabyte model of the iMac. And you can see there it scores right here at number seven. And by the way, the fans did kick on during this test. It was very quiet. They do seem quieter than they were in the past but I did just want to note that the fans did in fact kick on. And just for you know reference, the M1 Mac Mini, the fans never kicked on for this test. So it didn't get hot. I have been feeling the back of this iMac everywhere and it doesn't seem to be getting hot from running this test, although the you know fans did go off. So performance is gonna be pretty good here on this new M1 iMac. I think it's gonna be pretty much exactly the same as the M1 Mac Mini, which I've been using for a while now. So I don't necessarily know if a speed test is needed between those two, but let me know what type of content you guys wanna see with this M1 iMac. But this was just my overall unboxing, first impression setup, and just some quick benchmark tests right here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more, again, let me know in a comment down below. I may even do some gaming or something like that. I still have to decide if I'm gonna keep this iMac or if I'm gonna keep the Mac Mini. So I may keep both, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that. It's really gonna depend on how much I actually enjoy using this on a day-to-day -day basis, which I will be doing for the next week or two. But yeah, guys, there you have it. That is my unboxing and first impressions of the brand new M1 iMac. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe for a lot more content coming very, very soon, including more content on this iMac. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh, 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 oh,